hey guys what's up and this ready here and welcome back so in this quick tip video i'm going to show you like how i created this you know water droplet which is not too much realistic but i want to uh, share as a sense of something like when the ball will hit this will fall and how i created this so this is the main uh, thing which i want to discuss with you so because the rest of the things you know how to do so here the approach was simple so if i will you can see these droplets so right now you can see this is a geometry node setup but this is not geometry node i use molecular so here you can see these are the particles if i press n and go to the molecular plus so the start was like this i selected that geometry and i go into the sculpt mode to sculpt the this base a bit more forward so it will not be on the exactly same you know shape just bit uh, extra from the original one after that i added the molecular plus add on and i created particles and if i go to the particles properties here you can see these are start from frame 1 and end on the frame 1 lifetime 200 and this is pretty much it and also if i'll go to the force field in starting the gravity is less and after when this hit the gravity is become a one so that then it fall but the another reason why it fall is because of the stickiness so if i'll go here and this is the main cream so i added that as a collider but here on the stickiness you can see in starting it is set to 10 but when this ball hit it becomes zero so only then it start falling as i want so yeah this is the reason i use molecular and i created this and once you done this there is an option in the tools convert to geo tools and once you do you get these particles which is almost like baked one and after that i selected them and i go inside the geometry node editor and i use instances on point and then i use a collection where i created droplets so if i'll select all these three and if i'll solo this so these are the drops which i created okay so we will have some random droplets here you can see and after that i use a scale instance says so i can play with the scale of these uh, you know droplets and these are based on the noise so you can also play with these noise you can see and after that i apply a set material to apply a water material and this is pretty much it for this so i spend uh, a lot of time tweaking and getting this simulation and the result was it was not that much noticeable not even anyone can notice like there is droplets falling they it seems like there is something which is falling but anyways i thought to share this tip with you so yeah thanks for watching this video and i will see you next time with some more tip bye bye and take care